Sports TV. A team laid to rest the community of Del Mar coming together to mourn a tragic loss. The Wilkerson trial begins Monday. The man accused of killing Corporal Keith Heacook will be in court tomorrow, but he won't face a jury. A 5K run this morning in Lewis. Find out why people went pink for a good cause. Coastal flooding advisories have been activated for Monday. I'll give you the details and pinpoint where the problem areas will be. From the beaches to the bay, coverage you can count on. Coast TV, your local news at 6 starts right now. Good evening. I'm Madeline Overturf. And I'm Charlie Sakaitis. This is Coast TV News at 6. We begin tonight with a Del Mar teen laid to rest. Carter Figgs, a Del Mar High School student, was laid to rest today. He was killed in a Salisbury car accident last weekend. Many came out to the school today to pay tribute to the young man, remembered for his humor, love, and the huge impact he had on the Wildcats. Carter uh, just was one of those kids that size didn't matter to him. Carter was always willing to learn, learn his job, you know what I mean? Get, get knocked down, get back up. The driver in the crash that killed Figs is also a teenager. He is facing multiple charges, including homicide by motor vehicle. Figs was just 16 years old. The man accused of brutally beating and ultimately killing Del Mar police officer Keith Heacook. He will be in court tomorrow. Randon Wilkerson is facing 15 charges. 13 of them are felonies. He's been in prison for almost two and a half years. The original indictment alleges Wilkerson used a blunt object to attack Corporal Heacook, which Wilkerson has pled not guilty to. However, he did confess to ingesting large amounts of illegal drugs and alcohol, and he confessed to assaulting his elderly neighbors. Wilkerson was additionally charged with offensive touching after documents say he kicked a phlebotomist who was trying to draw his blood after he was arrested. Court documents show Wilkerson admitted to many of the assaults except for that one on Corporal Heacook. He will have a bench trial. That means the judge will decide his fate. There will be no jury. And be sure to stay with us on Coast TV News tomorrow for the latest updates from court. Two years ago on April 25th, 2021, Corporal Keith Heacook responded alone to a fight in progress call in the Yorkshire Estates community of Del Mar. Delaware State Police said he was confronted by 30-year-old Randon Wilkerson, who knocked the corporal unconscious and repeatedly stomped his head. When more police units arrived, Corporal Heacook was found unconscious with severe head injuries. According to troopers, the corporal was taken to shock trauma in Baltimore for three days. His organs were harvested and he was taken off life support on April 28th. Fears for civilians in Gaza are growing as Israel says it's gearing up for the next stages of its war with Hamas, including widespread strikes and significant ground operations. Conditions in Gaza have deteriorated into complete catastrophe, according to aid workers. As Steve Nanas shows us, this comes as tens of thousands of Palestinians attempt to flee south. The Israeli Defense Forces say it is ramping up its offensive in Gaza as they prepare for, quote, significant ground invasions. We have recruited uh, several hundreds of thousands of soldiers, of reservists, some 300,000, um, rallying uh, many of them in the area of uh, southern uh, Israel on the border with Gaza in the anticipation and preparation if the instructions from the government to mobilize into Gaza does come. Israel has told residents in northern Gaza to leave as it gears up for the next stages of its war with Hamas. We are trying now to move the civilians so that they will not be hurt and we want to go in and uproot that infrastructure of terror. Rocket fire has increased over the weekend as the concerns for innocent people in Gaza being killed by Israeli airstrikes grow. U.S. Secretary of State Antony Blinken says it is vitally important for democracies like the U.S. and Israel to uphold international law during war efforts. The way that Israel does this matters. Uh, needs to do it in a way that affirms uh, the shared values that we have for human life and human dignity. One danger of a ground offensive is hostages are still being held by Hamas in Gaza, including some Americans. And the Biden administration says they are working tirelessly to rescue them. The president has been very clear that he has no higher priority than getting Americans back safe, Americans who are being held hostage by Hamas in Gaza right now. I'm Steve Nannis reporting.
Let's take a live look now into the Fenwick Island area where the police department posted on Facebook that there was flooding earlier today on the Bayside streets. Looking at the area right now, this is the intersection of Route 1 and Route 54. It looks like things are all clear at the moment. However, drivers are asked to be careful and use caution if they do come upon any flooding in the area. As we take a live look right now, also into Fenwick Island, still looks absolutely beautiful there. Maybe a little bit of cloudy, but I think there's some good weather on the way. Our first alert, Chief Meteorologist Paul Williams joins us now with a look at the weather. Paul, it's been a much better day today than it was yesterday. Much, much better. better indeed uh, for us, Maddie, as well as you, Charlie, because overall we are seeing things clear out for us, but we still have that lingering concern for inundation happening in some areas. We have the Coastal Flood Advisory that will kick in specifically for 8 o'clock in the morning and will last until 2 o'clock. That's going to be the time frame in which we're mostly concerned about the possibility of flooding. Outside, we go outside and take a look at our Lewis camera, or better yet, we can take a look at our Ocean City camera even better. And we are expecting for it to continue to stay very cooperative for us with a good deal of clearing skies that will be the pattern as the winds will continue to push primarily out of the northwest. Coming up, we'll talk more about the expectation for this week and the next round of rain that's likely to hit by next weekend, believe it or not. Thank you, Paul. Two major highways overlap in Milford, 113 and 1, and there is going to be work there for months. Starting this Thursday, the northbound bridge of 113 that runs over Route 1, that's going to be painted. It is routine maintenance, says Del Dot. Lane closures are expected to last through mid-December. Also in Milford, paving work on Northeast Front Street. That should be done by Wednesday, says the city, specifically at Northeast 4th Street between Front and 2nd. This is part of ongoing paving and final curb work downtown. The Delaware Safety Council has a message for teen drivers. Buckle up every trip, every time. Today is the beginning of National Teen Driver Safety Week. Seatbelt laws have been on the books in Delaware since 1992. In 2022, the first state tied a grisly record with 146 motor vehicle deaths. It's one of the reasons buckling up is considered so important. If you were in Lewis this morning, then you know breast cancer can just shuck it. The Shuck Cancer 5K run kicked off for a good cause. Coast TV's Carmen Holland shows us the fight against breast cancer is never finished. There's something about the color pink. The light bulb goes on. Oh, there's a there's a breast cancer uh, awareness person or someone who's gone through breast cancer, or they're just coming from a race. This morning in Lewis, Big Oyster Brewery held the Shuck Cancer 5K in partnership with Fighting Pretty, a nonprofit who help women battling cancer feel strong and beautiful. It's just so nice to come to a place and. Sunday morning and be happy and, and do a good thing. We got little pins and we'll see that throughout the race too. We have pins that who they're racing for. They're fighting pretty for themselves or anyone that has battled through breast cancer. For Jody Myhock, who is a two-time cancer survivor, this is personal. She came here today with her daughter and her team of Jodesters Pink Roadsters. I'm walking for myself and all the other breast cancer survivors, the ones who have passed, the ones who are still fighting. The run today is about the fight that so many women face, and Jody says it's important to be aware. Make sure people understand they should be proactive with their health care and doing preventative screenings. No matter how much time it takes to finish the race or find a cure, the support remains steady. It gives people who are going through breast cancer uh, the incentive that yes, they can beat this and yes, they can lead a normal life. And yes, they can be survivors. I'm happy to be alive and healthy and have her here walking with me. The 5K event has already raised $6,000 in sponsorship money, 20% of the beer sales, and all of the raffle sales will go directly to Fighting Pretty. And if you buy a pair of these boxing gloves or any of the colors, the money will go directly to someone in cancer treatment. In Lewis and Parman Holland, Post TV News. We have a lot more news lined up for you this evening. Still to come, a ferry closure that could impact your travel for the next few days here on Delmarva. We've also got a preview of the big Sunday night football game coming up here on Coast TV. Hear what the experts have to say about this matchup. And up next, a DMV fee waiver in the first state who qualifies for the special program. Don't go anywhere. Coast TV News at 6. We'll be right back. We do not take any down payment. You don't pay until the job is done. 
Protect your home even further by taking advantage of our lifetime labor warranty. Coastal Home Roofing, Delmarva's roofing and siding experts. Taylor Oil Company leads a family of services offering energy solutions to Delmarva since 1927. Summer heat can be taxing on cooling systems. Now is the time to look into savings offered by the latest energy efficient heat pumps and air conditioning systems. E.T. Travis can recommend the best solution for your needs with just the right system for your home or business. The Taylor Oil Family of Services. One number for all your energy needs. Call 410-749-2151. Day or night, our service never sleeps. When you here, Metal Roof. Do images like these come to mind? With Delmarva Metal Roofing, you can get this, or this, or this. Today's metal roofs are beautiful, strong, fire resistant, energy efficient, and can even withstand hurricane strength winds. Plus, as the Shore's exclusive Permalock dealer, Delmarva Metal Roofing gives you a lifetime workmanship warranty, as well as a non prorated lifetime transferable materials warranty. Delmarva Metal Roofing, Delmarva's lifetime roofing solution. Sam Kelagioni from Dogfish Head here, inviting you to join us in downtown Rehoboth Beach at our brew pub, Brewings and Eats, and at our seafood and cocktail spot, Chesapeake and Maine. Grab a brew pub exclusive on the patio and indulge in a wood-fired burger or pizza, or enjoy an inventive cocktail with fresh seafood from our raw bar. Come visit Dogfish Head in downtown Rehoboth Beach. Cheers. Before you celebrate your new home, protect your surfaces with HydroShield. HydroShield prevents unwanted stains from penetrating the surfaces in your home. Our eco-friendly formulas eliminate the need for toxic chemicals, protecting you and your family. You paid good money for your surfaces, protect them with HydroShield. Call today for your free total home protection estimate. And relax, we have you covered. Learn more about our total home protection at HydroShieldDelmarva.com. Schedule a free, immediate estimate with our team by visiting our website or giving us a call at 866-976-5462. Coastal Home Roofing, Delmarva's roofing and siding experts. Active duty military members and their families are getting a little help from the Delaware DMV. They can qualify for what's called a document fee exemption. Now that Fee waiver was amended to help make the move to Delaware less strenuous as military members move often and have to re-register their cars in each state typically. Now, this applies to registration for cars that are owned by active duty, reserve, or National Guard members, also their families. Dover Air Force Base, as you may know, is a huge military base here in the first state. Now, to get this fee exemption, all you have to do is bring your military orders to the DMV and your registration fee will be waived. The Woodland Ferry is closing again. The Nanticoke River Crossing will shut down Monday through Wednesday. DelDot says this is for maintenance on that ferry. Well, still to come on Coast TV News at 6, open house, what children learn today at Ocean City's Fire Department. And plenty of clear skies should be a good thing, and it will be as long as you wear some long sleeves at night. If you're going to be out late, I'll just show you how chilly we'll get before it's all said and done. Welcome to Surf Bagel. Surf Bagel has served the community in Delaware for over 20 years, providing fresh hot bagels, breakfast sandwiches, lunch sandwiches, wraps, salads, local coffee and smoothies, and our iconic merch. Welcome to Surf Bagel. We're stoked to serve you. Welcome to Surf Bagel. Termites are here. Protecting your home starts with Rice's Termite Defense. Rice's Termite and Pest Control has been the trusted name in termite treatment for over 30 years. We start by using the best products on the market, combined with an industry-leading warranty that protects your home year after year. Right now, get $50 off any termite treatment. Call or visit us online at DelmarvasBestPestControl.com for a free termite inspection. Rice's Termite and Pest Control, where protecting your home is the family business. From the time that I established Garlic Builders, I instilled certain core values into my company, like I learned in the military. The number one approach that I instill in my team is a client-first mentality. The relationship with the client goes far beyond the construction process. Years down the road, I want to be able to grab a cup of coffee or grab dinner and reconnect. For so many, this has been a dream of theirs to own a beach house, and it brings great joy to us to be able to be that bridge 
be able to make their dream finally come true. We're a family of builders, growlic builders, homes built with honor. Hey Linda, come check out my bathroom remodel. I'm having it done by those guys on TV. They do everything. Paint me green and call me a cucumber. I thought they was gonna spice up your bathroom, Cletus. You should have called Peninsula Bath. Listen, Linda, you made the right choice. At Peninsula Bath, we do bathroom remodeling, and that's it. Top quality, competitively priced, and customer focused, and ready when you are. Thank you, Peninsula Bath. Looking for inspiration? Maryland's coast is naturally creative. Worcester County has art around every corner, down every street, and in every town. See our artists and creations in the galleries that aren't just in buildings. Experience our history in unexpected ways. Dive into our affordable museums with otters, mermaids, and boats. Take in free local music on our stages and off. In Worcester County, creativity is everywhere. To learn more and to visit Maryland's Coast, go to visitmarylandscoast.org. Well, you would think with all the sunshine that we are expecting for this week, everything's going to be hunky-dory. Bet you didn't know I knew that word. Yes, hunky-dory. But we're almost there. We still have a coastal flood advisory that's going to stay in effect for the entire state. So that, of course, includes us. And we're concerned about the winds off of the coast with the small craft advisory. But that's going to eat, end late tonight, early tomorrow morning, like about 1 o'clock in the morning for Monday. Now, the small craft advisory, remember, that's dealing with very gusty winds causing the seas to be a little bit on the rough side. And the coastal flooding, well, we're concerned about a possibility of flooding really Monday going into Monday afternoon. So yeah, we've got that going. Trough is to our west, scattered showers coming in out of the north. I don't expect the rain to exasperate the problem in a major way, but for tonight, long sleeves are required and a warm beverage, not a bad idea because we will indeed stay within that chilly category, particularly as the sun goes down. Feels like 57 right now in Georgetown, Seaford, as well as Del Mar, but it also feels like 57 degrees right now in Rehoboth and one degree warmer than that, Bethany Beach. So we're talking about the possibility of flooding. So check in the future waves. We're looking between, let's say, up to four feet initially, but then as we go into, let's say, Tuesday, it drops even more so. So we check from Ocean Pines down towards Chincoteague, once again, up to about maybe four foot waves, but not much beyond that. Here's a look at your power walk forecast. It's five o'clock, 46 degrees. We click over to the 50s when the sun shows up and then right around three o'clock, we'll go up to about 60 degrees, but the winds primarily out of the Northwest. And this Northwest flow of the winds, that's gonna be our thing for the next few days in a row. 45 to start off with just about everybody. Cloud cover will sneak in with temperatures near the 60 degree mark by Monday afternoon, slightly above it, slightly below it. Tuesday, we start off a little bit higher, 48 degrees, for example, in Millsboro, Selbyville, Milton. But then into the afternoon, we go to about, let's say, 62 degrees with scattered cloud cover in place. So you take a look at the next three days. We start going up a little bit more in those increments, 66 degrees, for example, in Assateague from 62 to 64 to 66. So we go farther to the north. For example, Ocean City, we go from 62 to 64. And then we go up even higher, for example, up to 66 at Cape Inlopen. Why? Well, we take a look at the future rain and we're expecting up to two inches and maybe even more as we go into the weekend because we have this low pressure system that's gonna sit on top of us for Friday going to Saturday. And then that's gonna change things. So for tonight, 43. Tomorrow, coastal flood advisor in 62. Tuesday, 64. Here's a look at your Paul Davis restoration and home remodeling extended forecast. The winnings rockin' and rollin' at Ocean Downs with the Rockin' Riches Slot Tournament. Sundays, Wednesdays, and Saturdays in October, you can win free play and qualify for a chance to win $10,000 cash on October 28th. Ocean Downs Casino, where the fun shines. All the natural light of the great outdoors. Right in your dining room. Shell Brothers, find your great indoors. All the solitude of the outdoors without the bad Wi-Fi connection. Shell Brothers, find your great indoors. The world's number one selling farm tractor. Easy to operate and more powerful than your average tractor. Mahindra Tractors. Push more, pull more, lift more. With more torque and lower engine maintenance, Mahindra Tractors are rugged and tough. 
We know how much you love your land, so we want you to love your tractor. Get your next Mahindra tractor today. Southern States of Milford, improving farming and improving life. Rooted since 1948. I should change my name to Superwoman. It's not easy to protect them all, especially at back to school time. Everyone seems to be damaged, broken, and uh, with some leaks. But I'm not worried. A visit to Your Doc's Inn for school physicals fixes everything, especially when you don't have to wait. You just show up, they make it easy. Now we're ready for school. Here we go. Your Doc's Inn, feel better faster. The school is waiting. When you want a new or restored residential or commercial deck, roof, or balcony, contact Delmarva Roofing and Coating to make the switch to DuraDeck today. For over 15 years, they've been consistently one of the largest installers in the U.S., installing over 1 million square feet of DuraDeck decks. With at least 10 years of experience, their certified installers install the pre-manufactured sheets to almost any surface. Plus, Delmarva Roofing and Coating also offers warranties for water tightness and aesthetics. Make the choice that lasts. DuraDeck. Find out more at DelmarvaRoofing.com. Monday at 4 on Coast Life, discover the elegant world of Creative Concepts Furniture. Pedal through Ocean City with Bike World Easy Rentals. And learn about Validate Beauty's natural solutions for every skin type. Coast Life Monday at 4 on Coast TV. President Biden has announced the locations of seven regional hubs to manufacture hydrogen. The fuel is cleaner than fossil fuels like oil, gas and coal and can be derived from renewable energy, nuclear power or planet warming methane gas. The seven hubs will be in the Mid-Atlantic, Appalachia, California, Houston, two in the Midwest and the Pacific Northwest. The $7 billion in funding was approved last year as part of the bipartisan infrastructure law. Folks, those hubs are about people coming together across state lines, across industries, across political parties to build a stronger, more sustainable economy and to rebuild our communities. Biden administration officials say they are still determining exact locations for the hubs in each region. We'll be right back. Pulling up to a great looking home is nice. Curb appeal is important. But here on the coast, even more important is dock appeal. At TNG Builders, if you can dream it, we can create it. For uncompromising quality, contact TNG Builders to design and build your coastal dream home. Over 30 years of integrity, empathy, and love. TNG Builders, the sign of quality. Visit us online at tg-builders.com. At East Coast Campers and More, we believe that having a camper is about enjoying the adventure, time with the family, and your escape to nature. From the buying journey to seamless setup, we've got you covered. Walking you through every step, making sure you're spending the most time enjoying what's out there. If you need us after setting up, our mobile RV medics will come to you providing the highest quality of services and repairs. Come start your adventure in Frankfort, Delaware at East Coast Campers and More. Hi, I'm Delmarva Dave. We purchased this house in less than 30 days. And I'm Christina, and the owners didn't have to make any repairs. Inherited, overwhelmed, or on the verge of foreclosure, we can buy your home so you can move on. We buy all sorts of property, like this mobile home, even if they're in serious disrepair. For as is, fast cash offers on residential or commercial property anywhere on Delmarva, check out our local five-star reviews. And then call or visit us at delmarvadave.com today. Your house is safe, clean, and dry from top to bottom. Or is it? Your crawl space can become damp, dark, and musty, an unhealthy situation. Braziers will safeguard your home from the bottom up with our crawl space encapsulation. We completely clean out and dry the space, seal the ground and walls, and install a dehumidifier to make sure it stays nice and dry. You'll love having safe, usable space, and your home will be healthier and more energy efficient too. Call Braziers now for your free inspection. Your home will thank you. Whether it's a natural disaster or just everyday life's mishaps, Royal Plus brings calm to the chaos. In disaster's wake, there's one call to make. Royal Plus. I'm better.
Welcome inside the studio. Maria Taylor alongside Devin McCourty and Jason Garrett. And week six, we have the Bills and the Giants. Bills coming off of a tough loss all the way out in London, looking to turn it around in week six. Yeah, the Bills were so impressive last week against Miami, slowing that greatest show on the grass down as much as they did. But it was a different story. They're a banged up football team, and that showed up. Jacksonville had their way, but uh, I think they have a great chance to get healthy. The Giants aren't a real good football team right now in any phase. That's the key, I think, for Buffalo. If they want to be one of those two teams playing in February, you have to find a way to win games. Yes, you're beat up. You're playing against a Giants team that's not that good. Come out and dominate them on Sunday Night Football. All right, we're going to dominate at 7 Eastern on NBC and Peacock. Join us for Football Night in America as we get you set for kickoff. Stop by and see Rudy Murray at the Ken Narrows Boottoberfest and Boat Show every Friday, Saturday, and Sunday in October. Over 100 boats on display, restaurant specials, live music, and more. The Ken Narrows Boottoberfest and Boat Show every weekend in October. Don't miss this boat buying opportunity. Be there. Pain and immobility take you away from everything you love to do. That's why at Pam Health Rehabilitation Hospital of Georgetown, our focus is to rebuild your life by providing high-quality, post-acute care to those who suffered from serious injuries or illness. With state-of-the-art facilities, advanced robotics, highly trained professionals, and the highest level of rehabilitation care. It's all about gains. Gain your movement, gain your independence, gain your life back. Pam Health Rehabilitation Hospital of Georgetown. When you're planning your next building, think Brendan T. Warfel. From custom homes to commercial projects, excellence comes standard. Brendan T. Warfel has the experience to bring it to life. I build every home as if my family's gonna live in it. If my name's going on it, it's gonna be done right. I guarantee it. When you step into a luxury bathroom from Coastal Bay Construction, it becomes your sanctuary. Relaxing, refreshing, invigorating. Coastal Bay Construction is your local bath remodeling expert and can help you transform your space into something you'll love. Get the luxury bathroom you want with easy access and services that make cleaning a breeze. Call Coastal Bay for your free quote with two years free financing or $1,200 off your whole bath. If it looks like a duck and quacks like a duck, it's Coastal Bay Construction. Windsor Teak Furniture Thermic Ireland offers the world's best outdoor extension tables with 10 different versions in stock. Tables come with two built-in butterfly leaves that can create three different sized tables and allows you to open and close in 10 seconds. Tables starting at 66 inches up to 138 inches long and can seat from 6 to 16 people. We have a table for you. Drop by our showroom and smell the teak or check us out at windsorteakfurniture.com and remember teak lasts a lifetime. Welcome to Fisherman's Wharf in Lewis, Delaware, where the bay meets the Atlantic Ocean. Get away from the crowd and escape on an adventure in our fleet with daily fishing trips, evening cruises, and the awesome experience of dolphin watching and even whales. Who knows what the sea holds? With three generations in the business, we assure you that your experience will be unique, a story to tell. Come down with the whole family, set sail, and spot a whale. So what are you waiting for? Book your trip now at fishlewis.com. Ahoy! Stop by and see Rudy Murray at the Ken Narrows Boottoberfest and Boat Show every Friday, Saturday, and Sunday in October. Over 100 boats on display, restaurant specials, live music, and more. The Ken Narrows Boottoberfest and Boat Show every weekend in October. Don't miss this boat buying opportunity. Be there. It was a great day in Ocean City. The fire department had its open house. Kids got to see equipment there, play games, and get this, even get some free smoke alarms, Paul. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Pretty cool indeed. Here's a look at your uh, exclusive 10-day forecast courtesy of Paul Davis Restoration Home Remodeling. Uh, we're looking at Friday and Saturday. We have a 50 and 60% chance of rain, but until we get there, we're looking pretty clear. And then afterwards, we're looking pretty clear as well. Looks pretty good. Thank you, Paul. And thanks for joining us here for Coast TV News at 6. For more news and more local weather, download our Coast TV News app. Be sure to join us tonight after Sunday Night Football. But until then, have a great evening.